Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Mother Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1435, Pivot Table Delta. Well, hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Today's question is sent in by YBAV, uh, creating a pivot table. Insert pivot table, OK. Uh, we want uh, products going down the left hand side, period going across the top, and then amount in the heart of the pivot table. And let's take a look at this pivot table. So we have uh, last year, this year, and then a total, but no one really wants a total there. We want to see the delta like this. This is what we're trying to create. So last year, this year, and then the difference. Well, how do we do that? Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the grand total over here. So I go to the design tab and under grand totals, I always have to think about this. I only want the grand total at the bottom of the columns. All right, so leave that there. And then I'm going to go to this cell or this cell, one of those two cells, and I'm going to insert a brand new calculation. Now in Excel 2010, they have this nice calculations drop down out here outside of your view. I realize that uh, fields, items, and sets, and then calculated item, calculated item. Back in Excel 2007, I think it was about this point on the ribbon, uh, formulas, calculated item. And so we're going to create a brand new uh, formula here called delta, and we're going to say equal to this year. I double click and then minus last year, double click, click OK, and we now have the calculated delta. This is nice if we decide to add something else in, um, you know, we'll still get those calculated deltas. So it's better than building a formula outside of the spreadsheet. So using just a straight pivot table, calculated item, I know, I know, I've said before, I hate calculated items, they screw up the data, but in this one particular case, this is the right way to go. All right, well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast.